Hello everyone, I'm Xantor and welcome back for more No Man's Sky. Now if I sound a bit weird today, that's because there is a little thing called hay fever um, that I'm suffering from at the moment and it might sound like I'm terribly, terribly ill, but that is not the case. I'm well, uh, apart from the fact that pollen is being blown around in the air around me and it is slowly killing me. But anyway, today we're going to Mafax in Manlave today to this weird planet. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're on the planet's atmosphere. Here we go, it looks like a weird red planet today. Let's see what we've got to explore. Looks interesting. Don't think I've seen anything like this before. Let's land and see what we get. And ka -chunk. Okay, looks like we've got fairly, fairly extreme weather, which is just great. It's great for having like hay fever as well, you know. Uh, oh, I had a little lag spike there. That's fine. Hey look, we've got a flying animal right there. It's uncommon to find those sorts of animals. Uh, let's see. Let's just fly around here, gain some slight frame rate drops, but that's because of the weird scanner. Um, the scanner does give off some strange frame rate effects. I'm not sure why that is. It, it just does that. But anyway, let's just start exploring and discovering all these animals here that we get right off the bat. Okay, so it is an extreme planet, which is not very nice, I will say that now. Um, so we've got to be very careful on how we manage our health uh, and shielding. Ooh, let's just grab this green thing. Hopefully it's some more uh, uh, Geknip. Come on, can we get more Geknip from that, that green crate? So the first order of business here, I need to start gathering loads and loads of iron, because I've got literally none. It seems like that's always the case, to be fair. Oh, and this is bad. We've got a storm here. An extreme storm. That's really bad. 280 degrees. I think that's the hottest I've seen in this. But anyway, um, for those people who don't know what hay fever is, um, I'll try and explain that now quickly. So basically, all the pollen in all of the plants and stuff get blown around a lot, and uh, they cause some people uh, to get affected by an allergy to it. Which is like literally the only allergy I've got um, that I'm aware of. I'm not sure. Um, I've never tried a nut, so I don't know if I've got a nut allergy or anything. Um, I'm assuming I don't, but you know, you, like who knows? I might do, I might not. But yeah, hay fever causes like itchy eyes, um, dripping noses, um, blocked noses, blocked throats. Um, when I say blocked throats, I mean like phlegmy throats, like. Loads of horrible, goopy stuff. Um, just trying to block your throat up. Might have to go like this. In order to try and clear. So it's a lovely time of year for me. I'm having such a great time. You know, I suppose the good thing about being on this planet is we will get... Um, well, we do have a high chance of getting our achievement that we're after. The, um, the everlasting achievement. Which means, like... I know, we've spent so many days on extreme planets. Ah, we got some jumping beans here. I see. Got another little guy down here. It's not like a cave monster this time. It's just like... Well, it's not like a crab. It's just a normal animal down here. That's interesting. Don't think I've seen that before. Oh man, we got loads of animals down here. Loads of them. So it seems like all of these animals are living down here. Oh my god, we did it! Oh my god, we did it! We got the achievement! It's such a difficult one to get. Survive 32 souls in extreme conditions. We've done it. That is a seriously, seriously rare achievement to get. It is so difficult to get that one. Just think, we've been playing this game for 86 videos. And I've only just got that achievement. That's how long it's taken to get this achievement. Oh my god, we've done it. Ooh, look at these. Vortex cubes. Those are like stupidly expensive. Dude, this is great. This is seriously great. Basically, Vortex Cubes, I don't know what they do, but they're expensive. So, whenever you see them, you want to pick them up and sell them. Because they're really good. But yes, anyway, as Dragon Force would say, we are the masters of the universe. We, I really feel like a master at this game now. Now that I've successfully like survived in these conditions. And yeah, I think this is the busiest planet we've seen. Look how many animals are on here. This is nuts. Look at it, 400,000 units to complete this planet. Planet 136. We've learned the Korvax word for destiny. 
Oh man. That's two games mixed into one now. Destiny. Korvac's word for escape. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not a warning signal for this planet. <laughs> escape. Why well, you still can? Oh my god, is that what I think it is? Is that water down here? Please, no. I don't want water animals. I think we do have water, you know. We do. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We've got water animals to find as well. Oh, look, this guy's going under the water. What's he doing? He's flying underwater. That's weird. You know, I'm starting to think this is going to be the impossible planet. Like, I don't know anyone who would be able to fully explore this planet. Like, 16 animals. It's extreme temperatures. And, like, water animals as well. It's, like, the ultimate. This, like, planet deserves a 10 out of 10, though. It's one of the more, like, most exciting planets I think I've found because we've got vortex cubes as well it's like how often do you see all of these things combined in one this planet is just nuts oh new animals new animals creature already belongs brilliant just what I wanted actually just what I wanted and no one over there he's a big one that guy is a big one let's go all the way over there and see what's going on oh my god we've got a massive goat that's one of the big ones. I think there's another big one. Yeah, another big one over here. Oh, man. Okay. Massive shielded thing. Dude, this planet's amazing. This is literally one of the coolest planets. I mean, the hottest planet something I've ever seen. Another new one over here. He's also a big one. So it seems like all the big animals only come out in daytime. How many have we found now? Okay, quite a lot. So there's three water animals. Um... Possibly two overground animals left. If not, they're going to be cave animals. Or they could be birds. Could have two different birds on this planet as well. Or another new animal over here. Oh, that's been coming for a long time. Right, well, let's fly over yonder and see if we can find some more animals somewhere else. Let's see if we can get some water animals out of the way. Come out, little fishy. Come out, fishy, fishy. I think the problem is with this planet, the water is just way too shallow for any, like, animals to spawn in. So it's kind of, like, impossible to find. Oh, and either way, with getting it, we've probably already, like, um, beaten the amount of money that this uh, planet costs us to explore. Like, we probably earned more from getting it um, than we have done this planet so far. And we've got another storm. That's just excellent, isn't it? Right, um, I'm going to say this now. Um, you might hate me for it, but this planet to me is, like, unexplorable. Um, I don't think we can do it because of all the water animals that are here. It'll just take way too long to find them. So because of that, uh, I think I might uh, leave the planet and never come back. So I apologise to anyone who wanted to see me fully explore this planet, but it is one, too dangerous, two, too many animals, and three, uh, the animals are in unfair locations. So because of that, I'm going to go um, from this place. I'm going to leave. And we've got a hostile subspace scan. Here we go. Come on, you guys going to, you guys going to come and attack me? No? Okay, fine. I gave up. Um... But yes, in the next episode, we're probably going to be going here. Actually, I'm going to go here and I'm going to end the video off on this next planet. Nadhola Istama. Sure. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're on the planet's atmosphere. To me, this looks like a dead planet. But I mean, we're only just like coming into the planet, so it probably won't be. Uh, maybe. Maybe. It looks flat enough. Like, it looks detailless, pretty much. Let's land, see what we got. Extreme radioactivity. Oh, that's just excellent, isn't it? That's just excellent. So, <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video of No Man's Sky, where we explore this planet. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.